the most remarkable change in those guidelines over the last several years is, is the adoption of small molecule inhibitors of B-cell receptor signaling, and there are two that are approved, ibrutinib, an oral inhibitor of BTK, and idelalisib, an oral inhibitor of PI3 kinase uh, delta. And, and it's that both of those drugs are now accepted as, um, as your first best alternative for treating relapsed CLL regardless of patient subset. So whether the patient is over or under 70 years, whether they have or don't have comorbid medical illnesses that sometimes limit the tolerability of chemoimmunotherapy, whether they do or don't have high-risk genetic features like deletion 17P or an unmutated immunoglobulin heavy chain gene, both of those drugs are effective in all of those settings appear to be largely safe in all of those settings and provide substantial benefits over chemo immunotherapy. And for that reason, the NCCN guidelines reflect the recommendation of our physician group as well as other CLL experts that they are first best choice for relapse disease.